Hello Aquarians, how are you? I thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for coming in. I've always been a proponent to the fact that if you click on a channel, your intuitive guidance or your guides led you there. You're supposed to be there. All right. I'm going to do something here. Switch out these here candles. They're about gone. Put these two front and center and let's get on with your reading. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Know this, that my readings are not gender specific. It could play out from anybody's perspective, actually. And the truth is, is that, give me just a quick second to put these out of my way. <clears throat> Aquarius, um, we're going to take a look at love for you. It's mid-month energies. Fire up this uh, Palo Santo for a minute. Make sure this reading is protected and the area is cleansed. We don't allow what God calls unclean spirits in our space. There you go. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look, Aquarius. I'm going to spray myself with this attract love and attraction reset so that I can attract the most beautiful energies, all things that are meant for me, things that have been held back, things that need to be loosened up. Sacred Holy Anointing Spray is for anointing myself to do the work for you, cleaning the space, cleansing the air, and giving it a holy environment. This is clearing bad energy, negative energy, and weapon formed against us prosperous. We are already anointed and protected. All right? So, no harm done, babies. That is my triple threat set. Those are 33, 33 for the set. Each one of those bottles comes with a coordinating crystal. Amethyst, obsidian, and pink. Pink eyes. Rose quartz. So that you can doubly enhance your, your progress in healing. I also have a accompanying um, sacred baths. I sell a, a triple set of sacred baths. And they're just wonderful. They are purposeful, though. They're Reiki infused so that... When you use them, it, it enhances your intention to heal even more so because someone took the time to bless your products. That would be me. Thank you. Everything's ready for you. You can see anything in the description box below. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel to help us out, we can get some more love cards because these are like falling apart. That would be really special. I really appreciate it. I love you for everything you do. Aquarius, your generosity, your readings. I've done a lot of Aquarius readings. Ooh, look what we have here. Love yourself first. Before I go into that, I wanted to tell you something. This was the main message. It says, love yourself first. The past is now behind you, Aquarius. So you have to release it, embrace these new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Now, faith means that you're not going to know exactly where it's going to lead, but you're going to be guided by your, your inner peace to know what is your right outcome. What else is showing up for Aquarius? For yourself. There must be a reason why you're getting that. This is mid-November. Maybe you're um, attached to something that you need to release. Maybe you feel locked in or you don't feel like you ha have the abundance, affluent abundance and separation. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm sorry to have to be the bearer of bad news. But there must be some good in this message because God doesn't give you junk, okay? That's how I feel about it. Our Divine Holy One, we thank you for this moment. Thank you for Aquarius who came to my channel, who access this camp channel by grace. Everything is by grace. But some people misuse grace. They think they can... They can um, just buy it. You can't buy grace. And you can't buy. You can buy a lot of things, but then it shows up that you've done something that isn't earned. And the universe will take you into account for that. Um, here we go. What is this love yourself first for my Aquarians, please? Spirit, Holy Spirit, we have. <clears throat> so a soulmate relationship went on the fritz because someone else had a lover. That's exactly kind of what I got. I'm going to get real cut and blunt with it. Okay, what else do we have? That could be Gemini.
um, for those of you who felt like you didn't have many choices to free yourself, you really did. The Holy Spirit says your heart belongs to you. You use it the way you choose. Remember, it's your destiny. That's seven. Who do you serve? Um, <clears throat> also, this thing about having to look back all the time and see if that person's approaching or if they're going to call or if they're going to compare you to somebody else or if they're going to um, put you first or, you know, it's a real call to love yourself first. There's something about the dignity of being uh, separating yourself from someone and freeing yourself even from the bondage of the mindset that you were anything they said you were or you were supposed to put up with anything that you did you learn from it you grow from it you set boundaries um some of you still look back and that's probably what you need to be freed from because there isn't anything you can do to change the past you can just create a better future for yourself if that's what i'm getting aquarius someone rising venus share more about this <clears throat> You have to put in the hard work for yourself, Aquarius. This is you really stick. A lot of people, a lot of you might have just dug into work just to overcome all this. Lots and lots of work. But you're going to have to put in the labor to get the money to get out or, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know why this happens when I go to read. Maybe people don't want me to read. Um, I'm going to keep doing it even if it's annoying. Sorry. So putting in the hard work is putting in the hard work for yourself. It's your own destiny. And the Queen of Cups is here, which means that this self-love has to be turned into yourself. She's looking at her cup and she's saying, you know what? I know I have choices, but I don't know where they are. So someone's seeking choices and options on how to get go through this process they're going through. And saving money, holding back, being restrictive. So they can continue to build whatever it is they want to build. <clears throat> this person over here didn't have enough love. They couldn't love both. They tried. They shared with both. Shared. But what happened was there was this energy here of always internal conflict, people, emotional conflict, um, wrong perceptions. Everybody's not, nobody's on the right page. Everybody's putting their two cents in on something they don't belong in. Somebody's involved and there was backstabbing. <clears throat> Excuse me. But for you, Aquarius, you're going to have justice if you're working on separating yourself. Because the Ten of Swords is about the last call. That's the last sword. And you're heading to abundance and wish fulfillment if you stay in your faith and go forward. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it kills me. I can't figure out why my throat does that every time I go to read. Spirit, Holy Spirit, tell me who is coming to them new. And, the, and towards the end of from the second half of November, who comes in to support and love on our Aquarians in the second half of November? Ah, well, we have a, we have a Leo here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Someone who's um, healed and delivered from something. So they're already well. We have guardian angels looking after you. You might have an Aries Leo Sagittarius that's defending you. Um, they might also be this person from the past, might also try to come back and make compensation with you or make um, amends, but it's not enough because a page next to the Hierophant and the Queen of Queen of Cups is not enough. No. So they are perpetually in their head over the mistakes they've made with their destiny and their choices over you. Uh, you have someone here <clears throat> coming in solid. <clears throat> wow. They don't want me to deliver this, but I'm going to anyway. All right, here's the deal. Um, the queen of coins is a psychic person. She's devoted and dependable and there for you. Whoever that is in your life, they're coming your direction or they're already in your world. And this is someone you should appreciate because they're grounded and stable and they're loyal. Even when people say they aren't. You'll know deep in your heart if this person's loyal to you. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Taurus coming your way. You might have someone trying to block you too. A Leo may be trying to block you. Yeah. From getting away to, to what? Your happiness? Come on. Let's take a look at the Heal Yourself reading cards for my Aquarians for the second half of August. 
and thank you so much for liking and subscribing and hitting that all bell so you don't miss anything I put up, Aquarius. I'm here for you. I love you. I've been steady. YouTube's weird. Love you. Okay. You've been haunting their dreams. They're trying to reach you in their dreams, but the truth is, is that they cheated on you so much. They distorted the relationship so much that you're protected by this tiger energy. You're working on self-love. This is all about me, honey. Uh-huh. Yep. This is all about me right now. Give me the combined energy. You have taking your mask off. You better. You better be true. <clears throat> Jesus, man, they do not want me to give this reading. I don't care. <clears throat> Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me the Ascended Master energies that are supporting my Aquarians at this time so they can go forward. Who's supporting them? I'm shuffling behind the camera because I can sit up in a better way for myself. Clear and shield your energy right now. If you have some of this clear bad energy, you will get a black. Uh, you will get the Archangel Michael um, invocation, so you can say the complete unrelease, unburden prayer with Archangel Michael. Boom, done. From now on, that's what I'm sending off with those. Okay, so you can do that mantra. Go to my website and buy some of that clear bad energy. You're gonna love it. Health and healing. Work on your body. Work on your healing. Work on your heart. One more, please. Yeah, Ganesh says yes. That's right. Clear your shield and do your healing work before you try to absorb into another relationship, perhaps. Let's see what the word says to you so you're edified by the prophets. Well, the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from trials. Well, I declare, if that isn't perfect for you guys, 2 Peter 2, 9, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. John 10, 10. That is your reading. I hope you liked it. Take good care. I wish you love, healing, health, strength, courage, self-love, mercy. Clear your shield. Don't forget to go to my shop and in the box below, go to my Etsy shop or my website and Get yourself some of this thing in this my Archangel Michael invocation, okay? The bot this is my small bottle. They come in a bigger bottle like this. So you get a lot. All right. Love you. Namaste, Aquarius.